Hi everyone, Timmy from vMix and today we're going to continue our series on getting started with vMix. Now in the previous videos we've covered installation, the interface and how to add an input and today we're going to piece those together and show you how you can create your own live production with titles, overlays, layers and inputs. So let's get to it. So here we are on our blank installation of vMix ready to go for our live video production. So what we're going to do first is add a camera to our show. We're going to go to the camera section. And now we have quite a few capture cards installed. We're using our studio PC today. Um, so we're going to select this Magewell card here. So this just, just makes sure that it matches. We've got our resolution which matches our production and our frame rate as well. I'm going to click OK. And so our camera is set up to match the master settings for our vMix production. So today we're using vMix 20, it's a beta. However, you're watching this in the future, you're probably using vMix 20 or 25 or 30. Um, so this is currently what everything looks like in vMix 20. Um, so all the principles are the same and we have plenty of videos and I'm sure we'll cover in the future if anything major changes. So now we've got our camera, um, what are we gonna need now? We probably wanna display a title to say, hey, this is who I am. So we're going to go to add input and we're going to go to the title section. Now vMix has a bunch of inbuilt titles that you can use for your production um, and you can also create your own in Photoshop. So it's just a matter of building a, a title um, with an alpha background so you can overlay it onto your production uh, and then you can bring it into vMix and use the vMix title designer to add text fields um, that you can change on the fly. So we're going to click the first one and then go OK. So now here we can change the name. So I'm just going to go tutorial. Um, and then the description, I'm going to call myself Tim. And from here, we can make changes to this text in the text field. So I'll bring this up into the preview. And so if I want to make this larger, I can do that. I can change the font here. Um, I can change the color if I wanted to. Um, it's probably not going to work, so we'll switch it back to white. Um, so I can chain, make changes to the title here. And I can also then add this as a preset here. So I've got tutorial Tim. Maybe Jim comes on the show, I want to add a Jim preset as well, so I can easily switch between them. Now, the bottom left, you'll notice this live thing here. Um, it means that if you, were, if you had this title live and you wanted to show the changes live, you could use that button. However, you could turn it off and then turn it back on when you want the changes to take place. Okay, so now we have our title set up, ready to go. Now, if we right-click on it, we can go back into the title editor to make more changes, or we can then use our presets to switch between Tim and Jim like that. So it's a really simple way to, to streamline your titling. Okay, so now we've got our title ready to go. We need to put it on top of our camera. So we need to show that this is my name. So vMix has a system called overlays. Now the overlays allow you to set up four channels that you can program to put any of your inputs in, into at any point. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna show you how to use those overlays. If we go to the overlay section, we'll just go to the first overlay. And as you can see here, the type is full screen. So that means that whatever input we use, it's going to display over the top of our existing output. So then the effect, we can fade it up. It'll take half a second. Now the duration here is how long that particular input stays as an overlay. So if we want the title just to display for four seconds, which is what we want, uh, we're gonna leave that as 4,000. So when we use this overlay channel, it will display the overlay for four seconds and then it will fade off. Okay, so for the second channel, um, we can set up a picture-in-picture. Picture. So for example here, what we can do is we can create a smaller shot, so like a smaller size, that if we wanna display, like something you have in the news, you might have a video playing over your shoulder or you wanna display a picture or something like that. So what you can do down here is you can use the mouse to move it around. If you hold down the shift key and drag in and drag out, you can change the size and you can also manipulate them through here. Now what we want to do for this one is we want to make the duration zero, which means that it doesn't last for a certain amount, it actually will display indefinitely until we turn that overlay channel off. So this is going to be handy for something that we're going to use later on. So we'll click OK, we've set up, you can set up four different channels that can be changed all the time, um, and also Stinger uh, transition, which are usually used for sports. Um, so we've got those two channels that we've set up. So we've got that first channel set up and ready to go. All you need to do is under whatever input you want to add as an overlay, you just press the one. So that's gonna display for four seconds and then it's going to fade away. So that's, that's how simple it is. Okay, so now we're going to show you how to kind of set up a show with an intro video as well. So I'm gonna to go to add input and I'm going to go to my video section 
uh, and add this one that I added before with our koala. So now I've got this video up. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart with transition um, and I'll explain why a bit later on. So what I'm going to do is now cut to my intro video. I would start the stream and start the record for my show. Um, and so once this is almost finished, I'm going to fade it back into my camera here. So this is my intro video. This is a great video to show. Uh, and then I'm going to fade back into here. Hi, everybody. Welcome to my show. Once I've done my welcome, I might show my um, overlay for my title like this, and then that will fade off after four seconds. Now, if you remembered before, we set up that second overlay channel to be picture in picture. So I can say, oh, how awesome was our intro video? So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to then put this into the second overlay channel like so. So as you can see, it's now appearing in the top thing, top corner. And then I can make that fade away once I've finished showing everybody it by pressing the button again. And there it goes. So for example, with the permanent overlay channels you have, you can also turn them off from this section here. So you might have an overlay on, you're not sure where it is. You can use that to turn it off. So that's how you would set up a, um, the start of a show, like with an intro video, and then move to overlay your title and then to have a picture-in-picture picture with a video. So that's just some examples on how you can use the overlay channels. So those are kind of four easy-to-use overlay channels. You can set up all of your inputs to do any of those. So I can send, you know, I could send this into the, the second one if I wanted to, uh, and that type of thing. So uh, yeah, you can set that up to do um, a, an overlay for any of your inputs. Now, another thing that you can do in vMix is create layers on an input. So if you want to permanently create a shot that has your title, that has your picture-in-picture, picture, you can do that as well. Some software and hardware might call this a, a mix effect. Uh, in vMix, we call it the input multi-view. Uh, and I'll explain what that means right now. So if you go to the input settings, then you go to the multi-view section, you can actually start adding layers to your um, individual input. So if we want to make this shot have the title, we just select it, and then there we go. Now we now have a permanent shot with this title here um, ready to go. Now maybe we don't want to always have the title, but we want it there for some of the time, maybe for a different shot where we want a permanent title or a permanent um, thing on our uh, input. What I'll do is I'll just remove this and go to Add Input color and I'll create a transparent or a blank input. Now here's a quick pro tip, you can also add a blank input by going to the add input quick menu here by clicking this little arrow and then selecting blank. Now back to your regular programming. So now I can actually start layering this particular input. I can add my camera, I can add my title, I could even add my um, koala. I can hold down shift, drag that in, put that in the top corner um, or I can go to the position of each of these and position them as well. Um, like so. As you can see, I've created a single shot here that has multiple elements in it. So I've created layers on an individual input to create a, an awesome composite shot with a lot of different stuff happening all at once. So if I want to start using that, I can bring that into my preview and then fade it across. So that, that's my shot here. However, I could then also then just switch to this shot on its own. So I've just got my camera. So it shows you how you can kind of layer different things and use things independently at the same time. So we have videos on the input multi-view, overlays, all that kind of stuff. There's a really crazy amount of different things you can do with it. Like you can put layer upon layer upon layer and then mix that with another shot and then do a double box and then put that double box on another double box and all that kind of thing. So you can really, um, it's really up to your own imagination what you want to do with your production. Now before we go, I just want to show a really quick thing that makes um, live production and shows very easy. Uh, and that's called triggers. So in vMix, we have a thing called triggers. So each input has uh, the ability to add triggers to it, which can then set off other functions within vMix. So for example, um, we've got our koala video, which is our intro. When, we want, when that finishes, what we want that to do is to fade to our camera. So we've got our camera set up here and we can add that. So when the video finishes, it's just going to fade to our camera. So we don't have to even worry about doing the transition. Um, so that's really a really great function and let's, uh, well, so while we're here, let's do something even trickier, um, on the completion of our koala video, let's also then overlay our title. So we'll go to overlay 
input one and we'll select our title. Again, there's lots of videos on triggers and shortcuts as well. So I'm going to add this. So on the completion of our video, it's going to do a couple of different things for us, um, which is what we want. Okay, so we're going to now cut to our koala video. Um, we'll extend it to the end. And when this finishes, I'm not doing anything. It has switched to our camera and displayed our title. So that's something really cool that you can do in vMix. You can pretty much program your vMix production um, and not really have to do anything yourself in order to control it, which is fun. So when we set up our production before, typically you want to add audio as audio is the most important, or well, one of the most important things about doing live video. So you can bring audio in a lot of different ways. So you can um, embedded microphones on cameras or shotgun microphones or a USB microphones like this one here, or perhaps a USB mixer where you can add multiple XLR microphones. Um, so there's many different ways to bring in audio into vMix. You can also bring in a mixing desk that has an SDI output that you can bring that in directly into uh, a capture card with vMix. Um, so now I'm going to show you how to add an audio input. So I'm going to go to audio input here and then select this microphone from the list, the Audio Technica one. And now we've got it plugged in and it's ready to go in our production. Now, I'm just going to turn this on, I'll show you. So, as you can see, it's moving around. That's our microphone added to our production. So, that's it there. Um, so, by default, um, in the settings here, it doesn't automatically mix the audio. And we've set it up by default that way. So, if you accidentally like click on the microphone and move it to preview, we don't want it to turn off. We want to have the audio, like the microphones, independent. So. In order to turn on the microphone, you just need to turn on and off this audio button here. So turning it off will mute it. And as you see in the audio, it's gone a blue color instead of green. If we turn that on, it will go green. So we found that most people want to keep their microphone on the whole time that they're doing their production. Regardless of what's on the screen, they want to have their microphone on. So that's how it's set up. Now you can change that if you like. That's entirely up to you. Now if you go into the audio microphone settings here, you'll be able to change some of the different settings for the audio. So um, if you're using like a USB mixer or something, you may want to set the delay to about 80 milliseconds just so that it, um, it syncs up. Um, and you can make some other changes here. And in the bottom, you can set the headphone level. So you can, you can choose whether you want to hear that back from vMix or not when you're doing your production. So we're going to close this down. One final, final thing um, is that we have a giant green screen behind us. So I thought I would explain how easy it is to set up a chroma key in vMix. So you want to go to your main camera shot with the green screen behind you, uh, and then you want to go to color key, and then you want to select color key. Now, what you want to do is use the eyedropper to pick a darker green on the backdrop, um, and then you want to then... We use these presets here. Typically, the second preset will give you a good key. Um, we're just going to adjust it here. Unfortunately, the, the lighting that we have set up today isn't the same for our live show, so the green screen is not that great. Uh, but it, we get, we've got a pretty good key for it for here. So we're going to go out now and as you can see I'm, I'm chrome it out. I'm just going to close this microphone and what I'm going to do is add a backdrop um, to it. I'm going to select this guy here. So Dan is one of the representatives of vMix. You'll see him on our mouse pads, on our website, on our video. Uh, all over the place you'll see Dan. So don't be alarmed if you see a surfing banana. He's a cool guy. Um, so that's somebody that you'll see around the place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new input we're just going to take a, create a blank input, and then I'm going to add my camera on the top of his photo. I'm just going to select him as the background, uh, and then select myself above that. So I can move that around. Again, I can shift that, hold shift down and move that around, or change the positioning up here as well. Um, and then close that down, and I'm going to cut straight to it. So here I am, chroma keyed out of this shot of Dan. I'm, I'm surfing with Dan on this green screen here. So that's how easy it is to set up a chroma key with vMix. Obviously, we have more in-depth videos about this as well. So we have plenty of more videos on titling, custom titling, chroma key, overlays, multi-view, uh, and they're all on our training videos page, our YouTube page, or linked in the description below. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check the description to view any of the information and links that we've listed in this video. If you'd like to watch another video in this tutorial series, click one of the videos above.